My name is Eric Jamelski, and I teach in the Economics Department at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire. And the class that we're talking about today is Principles of Microeconomics, otherwise known as Econ 103. So the setup of the activity is that students are going to be simulating a market in and of themselves, meaning that there's going to be buyers and sellers. I set up students by dividing the room half into buyers and half into sellers. And they get kind of loose instructions about, well, what do buyers do? We buy, and I'm like, all right, good. And then, what do sellers do? We sell, good, okay. So you're gonna be buying, you're gonna be selling. Okay, now we have to talk about, well, what are you gonna be buying and selling? So we always need a product, right? And so then I tell them, well, the product for here is gonna be a box of computer chips. And Here's how you're gonna play the game. Are you ready? When we go over to the room, everybody's gonna walk in and you're going to pick up one card of the color that matches your sheet and you're gonna sit there and wait for instruction. Next thing is, I'm gonna say, go and you're going to mingle, rub elbows, yell, scream, right? But basically what you're doing if you're a seller is trying to find a buyer, and if you're a buyer trying to find a, a seller, and you're going to haggle, you're going to negotiate, you're going to bargain, and eventually you're going to stumble across someone who's willing to make a deal with you. Then, buyers will put their pink card on the table, take a new card, sellers will put their blue card on the table, take a new blue card, and you will go and do it again. Ready? Go! And so I think at the end of the day, the students really do learn from this process, but there is no denying it when you actually watch them in interact in this and then listen to them talk about it afterwards that they actually enjoy the experience and the process and it's kind of subtle because they enjoy it because it's fun and they're making noise and they're moving around but then I think when they sit back and they reflect in the fact that they learned something as as we flow out of that experience that it just makes it that much more amazing that that learning can be fun